Hey guys, welcome back to Smart Trader. Hope you guys are doing great. And in this particular video, we will do a learning video basically regarding options buying, specific to options buying. Okay, so this is not for option sellers. This is for option buyers and basically for a beginner. Now I'm doing this video specially because uh, beginners have this common doubt that should they buy in the money options or out of the money options. Now I'll just show you a, a small example uh, in the market so that you get a rough idea for the beginners who is a little bit confused also. So let's say this is nothing but I will take an example of nifty chart. So I'll use my cursor here. So nifty uh, 50 is what we will consider as an example for this options. Okay. And for the people who don't understand what is this in the money, out of the money and at the money, it is very, very important topic. Uh, it may look difficult in the starting, but it's a very basic and easy topic. So if you don't know, pause the video and go check out in Google, understand what it is and get back. If you miss this, then you will not understand a lot of things. So understanding that is very important. So coming back to the topic. So now I have taken an example of Nifty 50 where um, I have taken these examples with an expiry of 20th October. So uh, now the spot price is around 17,461. Uh, so I have considered 17,500 is the at the money. Now currently where is the Nifty? It is at 17,500. Just a calculation. So this is your at the money and I have taken call option. So this is an example for call option. For put option it will be opposite. And this is only for buying is what we are talking about. Now this is nothing but in the money, right? So this is your ITM and this is nothing but your out of the money, OTM, out of the money. So these are the three different things. Uh, now I will not consider at the money. Now we will discuss about out of the money and in the money. Now as a beginner, what happens is generally when you come to options, you look at this premium out of the money here is around how much? 16 and the premium here is around how much? 200. So it is like 10 times 15 times more, right? The premium. So it's a common thing. If you have 10,000 rupees, now you will plan like, okay, for um, out of the money, I will get more quantity, right? Compared to in the money where I'll get less quantity. I'll get 10, 15 times more quantity here. So if I get profit, I get bigger profit. And again, yes, losses will be bigger losses. But it's not about bigger profit or bigger losses for that risk management will come into picture but it's about the probability of winning okay how many times or how many opportunities we have in our strategy or this type of options giving money for us okay so that is what we are going to discuss here now let's take an example of this out of the money okay very simple like i told you get attracted to this lower premium and then you'll buy a lot of quantity when for ten thousand you get so much quantity so that it will be like a lottery like a jackpot now let's see how can we lose money here okay so let's say you took around 17700 and the market is around seven, nifty is around 17500 so let's say the market is here and let's say the market doesn't move okay 5 points 10 points up down up down up down so the market is almost sideways there is no movement in the market here what will happen you will lose your money right so it's a loss for you why because this is nothing but time value okay this is nothing but time value plus intrinsic value okay because from here to here you see almost 160 points is away right so there is a difference of uh, you know strike price here and spot price here so there is that extra intrinsic value plus time value here Whereas here you don't have that intrinsic value because it is out of the money. Okay. Because uh, on expiry day, the option will become zero here. So you should be knowing this basic concepts. So this is nothing but time value, which can slowly become zero at expiry. Expiry can be your Thursday expiry or month end expiry, but this is an example of Thursday expiry, right? So if the market doesn't move, time is going away. If time goes away, your value, time value reduces from 16, it can become 15, 14, 13 and that's how you keep losing and that's how option sellers take advantage of these situations. Okay, as option buyer, your value, your points are draining out. So that is first instance. Second instance is if there is a small movement, let's say 17,500, slowly it went to 17,520, 10, 25, 
30, 20, 30. There is a small movement, okay, towards your direction. But what's happening, whatever the 10 points you are gaining here, in time value, you are losing, let's say, 7 points to 8 points because whole day you waited, there is no much movement, 7 to 8 points because of time decay. You gained how much? 10 points, hardly 1.2 point or maybe it can be negative also. I just given a rough example to you. So in these two situations, you are losing money. Third situation. Third situation is it is going against you. Small movement. You see like this. Okay. Small movement. It is going against you. So in this case, again, you are making a loss. First of all, you are making 10 points loss. Again, time decay, you are losing 7 to 8 points. Totally 17 points you are losing. Maybe yours went to 0. Okay. Just an example I am giving you. Now big movement happening. Now it falls completely down. Now overall it goes to zero because big movement happened movement and also time value is not, it's going to become uh, going down. So whatever it's uh, your premium of 17 will come to one or point uh, zero five level it will come and stay. Okay. So this is how you are losing money. So when do you make money here in this in in this out of the money? When are you making money? One opportunity is there. When from 17,500, there is a big movement happening. Okay, if there is a big movement happening, let's say you gained 40 points and you lost time decay of 7 to 8 points, at least 32 points is what you gain from the market. So in this chances of winning is where you will get in terms of this OTM. Okay, so rest all 4-5 chances are losing the money. So if you are very good in predicting a bigger move like this and if you are able to capture such bigger moves, very good. But not always market will be moving, right? And that too from the point where you took, it may not move. It can go sideways, it can go small move, or it can go against you. So you are losing every time you are losing here. But only if there is a big move and the big move is within a less time, then you gain more. If it is for the whole day, if there is a one slow big move. That means your time decay also took place and you got whatever is remaining. So the chances or the probability of winning in terms of out of the money is comparatively less because in, in the money what's happening the decay factor is going to be lesser compared to out of the money. Okay. So that is one advantage. So if you have the market goes sideways also the amount of decay what you get here in out of the money in, in, the, in the money it is going to be lesser. So there one thing the draining is reduced. Okay. I'm not saying it is going to completely it's like opposite. No, you will lose but not compared to out of out of the money. Same way when it goes against you small time decay plus the points you lost and big one obviously it's a loss you will take your stop loss. Where are you winning when it goes little above from yours if it goes to your direction little above also. You are winning those 10 points and you are losing decay of let's say 3 points, minus 3 points. So maybe 7 points you won. So you are getting that advantage. And again, a big movement, you are getting that advantage, right? Because the decay is comparatively lesser here in the money compared to out of the money. So that is the reason a lot of beginners who start trading, they get attracted to the smaller premiums. They put full of, they, they don't even go risk management. If they have capital of 10,000, they don't use, let's say 10% of it or 20% of it for option buying. They use 100% of it. And that's when they tend to lose. They wait, they hold on to it coming to 0 0.05 because holding here out of the money, it's a very dangerous thing. It will keep decaying because of time. That's all. Here holding on is fine compared to out of the money, right? So here holding on is the biggest issue with people. If you don't get big move, there's no point in holding on to this out of the money. So this is by experience is what I have understood. And I have also taken this uh, out of the money initially and understood things. And I've heard a lot of people saying the same thing, which I didn't understand. Only when I started trading, I understood why things happen like this. So I'm just sharing my experience to the beginners. Maybe for experienced trader, this is going to be a basic thing which they have experienced. But for a beginner who is going to do or is already doing this mistake, just sit and realize or do paper trade. You will understand that there is a difference between in the money and out of the money. A major difference, I would say, when it comes to holding on to your options buying. And one more thing, we have something called uh, the delta factor where the movement of nifty you know the points movement here and here is different you may think okay here 18 points if 100 points if i move 
I will get more money because of quantity and here only 100 because of less quantity. No, not like that. Here, if 100 points is moving for nifty movements, here the movement can be 250 points or 200 points. So the amount of points moving also is higher because of the delta factor. So therefore, don't think that, okay, here I put only 19 rupees, I'm going to take out 100 points or uh, double, the pri double the points. Same way here also, if this 19 is becoming 40, this can become 400 also. All right. So don't think in that way. So the, uh, overall, as per my experience, buying in the money and generally um, as a beginner, uh, I would su uh, suggest you don't go closer to add the money. A lot of traders you know take just add the money and let's say just uh, you know minus one or minus two that is 50 points or 100 points just close to add the money because uh, now they have a strategy very good i appreciate that and i'm not saying that out of the money is bad okay out of the money if you have a strategy which is you know that it works good and you have you know checked your setup then very good go with it not a problem i will not challenge it and i'm not saying this is right or wrong but as a beginner, generally, you don't have your setup. You just try, you know, buying, selling, buying, selling. So you tend to lose because of those probability. So here you will at least sustain people who are losing uh, in one month can lose, let's say, in four months or five months if you are trading in, in the money. OK, simple as that if you don't have a setup. So in this five months, at least you will learn something compared to one month where you lose all your money. OK, so that is one thing I wanted to, uh, you know, just tell to all the beginners that uh, be careful when you are uh, trading in the money and out of the money and uh, don't blindly trust me. Also, this is my experience. Maybe my experience can change maybe after a year, but take a paper and do paper trading or Excel sheet. You do your Excel, your back testing and try to see which one decays faster, which one gives you a profit. When you take a trade, consider one out of the money and one consider in the money in your paper trade and overall for the month or for three months see which one is rewarding you okay so keep that in mind uh, this is a small thing i wanted to share with you guys and i will also share a lot of basic things which may help a lot of beginners who started uh, trading so hope this video was an add-on to your knowledge so um, like you know we started options uh, learning in few few years back and then I started my options trading and selling and buying and I just wanted to share this for people who are watching my video specifically and from wherever you're learning but stay careful I will try to make more such basic videos for you guys breakdowns uh, so that a lot of new beginners will understand all this topic how I thought equity as a beginning beginners point of view I will think in the beginners point of view and I'll try to share the video for you guys if you like this video share this video with all your friends and groups hit that like button and subscribe button see you soon with one more learning video till then take care stay safe